<laughs> the music is making this more dramatic than it really is. Now what you're gonna do with that power, because remember, with great power. <laughs> what? Happy Halloween! It's the Double Dose of Agatha today, the season finale. Two episodes back to back on back on crack together. Um, episode seven and eight, looking forward to it. This is it. Let me get my bat ears on. Devil man, devil man, call it devil man, right in my head. Anyways, there we go. Yes, I think I was talking about Arkham, Arkham Shadow last week. Amazing game, probably the best, probably one of the best VR games I've ever played in my life. It's the most extensive VR game I've ever played in my life. So I highly suggest you guys pick up a MetaQuest 3S or uh, if you have a MetaQuest 3 um exclusive on the meta quest it's it's a good it's a good game but we're gonna wrap it up here halloween and then uh probably do some karaoke while streaming on twitch and then uh hit up shibuya and then hit up the club oh that's what we do as old folks now <laughs> until we have kids and they do trick-or-treating let's see what uh let's see what agatha has in mind for us on this halloween day uh for the season finale your full, full reaction available on patreon y'all Thank you for being here with the journey. Let's uh, maybe we'll just do them back to back. We'll see. We'll see how each episode pans out and maybe we'll just merge it all together for one giant reaction. All right, let's go. Your latest reaction now to the season finale of Agatha starts now. Rio is death. Hello. You should see me in the crown. Crown. That's all the... All the time I get? <laughs> if I had a nickel. But this can't be the end. <laughs> That's great. You're a protection witch. Yeah. You died protecting someone. There you go. You did what you had to do. Creepy, man. Creepy. She's really good at this. She looks just like I would have imagined. Follow me, my friend. Follow me to glory at the end. Death about to show up there too. Man, they're starting this episode off really well. Because the truth is too awful. Mm -hmm. Now I really want to know what, what really went down. Where is Agatha? Um, probably at the top of whatever you guys are chilling in. His brother isn't out there. Not yet anyway. Oh, what? Whoa! <laughs> Very practical, but pretty cool the way she did that. <laughs> the music is making this more dramatic than it really is. Get ready for fireworks! Get ready for spectacle! Get ready for... Oh, oh. What the hell? Uh-oh. You going in a circle? And how exactly do we get off? Well, uh, maybe if we... you don't know, then keep quiet! What is wrong with her? Tripping balls here. Uh, shoes. <laughs> Why does it look like a corn video, Make Me Bad? I'll be damned if I let you two idiots die. Wow, such purpose. How are you going to do that without any magic? Is she saved my life. Why is she being s such a cunt, dude? Good for her. Now what you gonna do with that power? Because remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We're gonna find your brother. What? Wow. That's what you want, right? <laughs> Tommy is Yo. waiting out there. Never mind. Not in a body, anyway. That movement, that position, I was like, wait a second. And then he's like, it's what you want, right? Say it like you mean it. You were 10. You lived in Westview. Interesting. So this whole room is going to, like, get really dark soon. Breathe. Breathe with me. I can't find a place. Ah, uh, don't give me that. 120 bodies empty out every minute. Five. Oh, wow. Really? 
And the people, the family, there's no one to love him. He's got no one. What? By killing this boy so my brother can live. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, can you plant? Can you resurrect them with that? Uh, wow. Whoa. Wow, back in, uh, back to reality. Wait, now, did the Salem 7, did they all get wiped out last episode? Is that death? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? Do I? Whoa! Kid. That was sick. I'm thinking death by a thousand cuts. Ah! Oh shit! Who that? Billy. <laughs> okay. 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 That's his full gear, his full setup now. All right. That works, I guess. Now that, yeah, all right. Time to stop. Time to stop. She's back. Oh, she actually stopped. All right, come on, Wiccan. Nice. Finally get some freaking battles up in here. Sorcerer battles. Wow, is this not real? This feels like a final episode. What more can they tell? You're not bad. Neither are you. Nah. <laughs> Death just keeps on getting thrown out the window. Or thrown into a window. What? <laughs> what? That is a cool effect though with her hair. <laughs> Looks like a Madonna video. And that's that for Agatha. Ooh, that is a cool effect. <laughs> Hello, I am Wiccan. You gonna fly off just like your mom did? Probably. You gonna see the the old house? You probably are gonna walk next to the house that got destroyed, right? Okay, okay, the outfit looks a lot better now. At first it was kinda like whatever. Sure, why not just drive away? I don't know what it is about WandaVision and this show that uh, whenever they're driving cars, it looks like they're making a car commercial i'm really curious where where are they going to go with the next episode because we still have one more episode but it feels like they pretty much have wrapped this one up and the ability to turn all of your goals into reality wait he made the road right off your vision board whoa he created everything <laughs> Wait, you have any statues of death somewhere? <laughs> Did she just show up in his room like that? Wow. All right, guys, here you have it. That's uh, episode eight. Wait, what? The next episode is the last episode. Hmm, interesting. Why not just go to 10? I don't know. But anyways, we'll find out. The next episode is the season finale. But honestly, that was a good ending right then and there. So I am kind of curious where they're going with the next episode. How they're going to go about it as well, honestly speaking. Other than that, so I guess Billy essentially has like reality warping powers just like her mom. Uh, his mom, but doesn't know how to control him. Like his mom. Tommy is somewhere, somewhere, maybe the kid that drowned. That's where Tommy is, I'm assuming. Maybe we'll get more information like that in the next episode as well. Uh, but that was good, man. I enjoyed it. All right, let's move on. It's a double dose, baby, on this spooky Halloween. For a reaction available on Patreon, we'll get into the next episode immediately. Run, run, run! 
Oh my. Oh, is that her son? Like, whoa. Oh my. Is that death? I've, I've always wondered where do they get babies like on set like that like newborn babies all the time for these kind of shows like how do you get cast in something like that and how much do they make how much money do those babies make one can always rely on the kindness of witches give me that leave return it <laughs> wow i'm not gonna lie i feel like they put these episodes out of order so far the death hurt agatha by allowing nicholas to live in like all this time they she actually got to spend with him the agatha blames death for letting nicholas live this long that's a running theory i have because it would have been better just to take him away at that time as opposed to now having all these built-up memories there we go the green witch Wow. Wait, is that why Agatha walked the witch's road the first time? On we carry on. Wow. Death. Did she ever unlock it? Blast me. Down the road, down the road. So I'm assuming now this was actually her first time. To actually, it actually worked. Yeah, so it was. This was actually her first time. She was like, "What?" It was me. Yeah, he <laughs> created the road. It's because of him. Boo! Boo. <laughs> what the hell? I saw you die. Yeah, and now I'm a ghost. Can you dig it? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that outfit. Still figuring out the rules here, but. <laughs> did I make the road? I think you did. Unlike your mother. Sorry. Wanda. You actually did something interesting with your power. Wow. The road wasn't real until you made it real. Wow. Lilia, in the tower. That was her choice. Mrs. Davis. Who? She didn't even belong on the road, and now she. <laughs> I get who? If you actually do the math on it, you saved a life. Fair enough. Wait, who? Who? Oh, Tommy? No, wait, what? Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Freaking Westview, man. Nah. <laughs> Fly. So wait, what? what's the calculated move, Agatha? What you trying to do? So what are we doing down here? <laughs> she like Witch Yoda. It's mine! Why are you still here? Why won't you just die? Because I... I can't face him! Ah, the sun. Sharon Davis, Alice Wu, Lily. Sharon! Let's go find Tommy. Bro, that's the whole episode? <laughs> <laughs> what? I was weak. That was weak. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they could have cut a good amount of that down and could have just made a longer episode eight and we're good. That didn't need a whole episode. The episode previously was better. There you go. Marvel. Marvel. Always, always with their season finales. Like, what? Like, they always be dropping the ball with their season finales for some reason. For the most part, I'll give them some points in the fact that they put together episode eight and nine on the same day um that's fine like i was really hoping it wasn't going to end on a let's find tommy note but they did it they did it and they are the reason i say that is because of the fact that they introduced the idea that tommy is still around uh fairly early like i think at the halfway point of the season so i was hoping that we were going to get that playoff uh the the, the payoff at the end like we were just going to see some kid turn around 
and whatever like you know we didn't actually need them to like reunite or whatever but for the most part i was hoping that we were going to get the reveal of where tommy is and be done with like at least that part but i really they really ended it on the most cliche-ish way that I thought they were, which was a let's find Tommy situation, and they're leaving that open. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and other than that, it was just like, okay, the, the, the flashback part was good, but I felt like they could have just thrown that in to an early an episode prior to that, I guess. And I'm sure that's probably what, what the original intent was or so, or whatever they were trying to do, but uh, they had all this extra material and I don't know. The question is, I guess the one question I have is like, what was Agatha's like final, her end game? What was, what, what was she trying to do? She didn't want to cross over fully, right? She said it was a calculated move to kill herself. I guess, and I guess, you know, she's saying that she does, she did it. She didn't do it for, um, Billy, but maybe there's a part of her that did, right? Because of the fact that he's very similar to Nicholas in that sense, I guess, right? Or to finally kind of like get out of death spell, whatever. Did she want to just, she just wanted to go around as a force ghost the rest of her, her unnatural life now? She doesn't want to cross over fully, right? So very interesting in itself. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure the reason why Agatha is kind of bitter at death is the fact that yes death kind of spoken riddles and what have you not right actually more importantly why does death want to why did death want to kill agatha um to begin with right is just because it's her time or what if anything i think agatha was doing a pretty damn good job serving death up and then i also wanted to know how did they fall in love like how did they really get together like i was a originally i was thinking it's because she was going around killing her cop a uh, coven like that right that was way after right they, they were she was already when she was having that kid she was like oh man my love blah 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 unless what if agatha had a thing with mephisto or something like that or the yeah an agent of mephisto i don't know the embodiment of mephisto or whatever what if what if some form or fashion some some way some where death took the embodiment of a man had that kid right nah i think that'd be a little different i guess agatha is a little bitter in the fact that death gave time right but then Ag agatha Ag Ag yeah, honestly speaking i think Ag agatha got a little greedy like it's like yo like for example when i think about when uh women have like miscarriages in the hospital right uh the hospital gives a unspecified amount of time for the woman to have spend time with the unborn baby right and you know there was this whole case where this one woman was doing a tiktok video with the the baby and um, that was a form of grieving right and so i was kind of thinking about that when death was like i can give you time right i can give you some time and i was kind of thinking okay well you know if anything that's about like some of the time right that's enough right i mean honestly death let that kid live for quite some time that kid looked like he was like what five or six maybe even, yeah maybe a, a five then nah, maybe up to like eight right eight years old like it looked like it'd been i think they said four years later right so about five he was about five or so four or five years old that's a lot of time honestly in my in my mind like and i was wondering about that <laughs> are they gonna wait till he's in his teenage years and then ixnay who knows anyways um i'm i'm with it it was an interesting way of the way they handled all that overall i think the season was pretty cool um i enjoyed it i know some people said it was a little slow i think the penguin is a little slower still enjoyable though but i think there was a lot more going on than agatha uh i don't know if it really helped add more into the lore of the mcu but that's kind of okay i still i still feel like wandavision was probably the best one out of all the disney plus shows uh wandavision or loki those two really helped set the standard and add it more into the whole world of, of the mcu but you know who knows who knows what's gonna happen in the near future i guess that's it thank you for this journey guys um i know there's some uh the marvel has uh, some other stuff prepared for next year um so we'll probably be back ready to go on these things uh, in the meantime i'm sure there's some other shows or something we can pick up um that uh you guys are interested in watching 
as always, and of course, over on the Twitch side, and uh, uh, you know, we have New York Com, uh, sorry, Tokyo Comic Con coming up as well. So there's a lot of stuff that can be coming to the channel if you guys are interested in seeing that. We just finished up Tokyo Game Show as well, testing out the uh, new pocket camera, and that that was real fun. I know there's a few other events coming up, and of course, there's Halloween today. So I'll be out on the streets enjoying that, you guys. Please take care of yourself. Thank you for being part of this journey, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.